Hey, this is West Virginia Tim. We're going to find a geocache on the Gadgets of Berkeley County Geo Trail. So this is called Mechanical Drawing 101. My GPS tells me I'm about 20 feet away. Look over my right shoulder. You'll see a typical West Virginia Tim birdhouse. Let's go see if we can find it. Um, here's the lock here. So we know the geocache uh, log is right here. But underneath this, there's a, another little cache. And the hint says... I uh, use 101, so I'm going to put 101 here uh, in this small little lock on the bottom and let's see what we can find. Oh my gosh, it's an Etch-a-Sketch. I remember these when I was a kid. There's instructions on the cache page that's going to give me directions, so let's sit down and see if we can figure this out. Okay, there's directions on the cache page that tells me to start over here at X to make sure my arrows both point up. So I'm going to follow the directions on the cache page. It says left, counterclockwise, a half turn. So this is left. I'm going to go clockwise, a half turn. Then it says right, which is the right button, clockwise one turn. So I go around one time. And then it says right, counterclockwise one turn. And so I do it that way. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I don't know if you can see this. What I've just done is make a 1. And I'm sure if I follow the rest of the directions, it's going to have me make a, a, a 4 numbers because the lock needs 4 numbers to open it. So by following the directions on the cache page, it's going to give me very specific directions. It's going to give me 4 digits that I'm going to put in my lock. So... This is a great cache, brings back lots of great memories. So now let's go back to my shop and let me show you how what you can do to build this cache. Okay, now let's talk about how we build this. Uh, like most typical West Virginia Tim caches, it's a birdhouse design. But this has to be designed wide enough for the etch a sketch. So this board across here is about uh, nine inches wide. So my cache is uh, just about nine inches wide. Uh, the board from right here to right here is about 13 inches and the back board is about 17. Um, I build it a typical birdhouse um, and then I take a saber saw, cut this little door out like I've done on many, many of my caches. And as you've seen on other of my videos, put two hinges and uh, my lock goes down here. And so after solving the combination, they'll be able to open this, reach in here, and get a hold of the cache container, which is a uh, geocaching small lock and lock. Now, only thing I've had to do different uh, than you would in a typical birdhouse is I had to separate the actual, the actual cache cavity from where the Etch-a-Sketch is. Because you're gonna open this, the Etch-a-Sketch is gonna come out the bottom. Um, but um, the way I've done that is just place a board down through here big enough to hold the Etch-a-Sketch. I measured to make sure that there's plenty of room here. So there's room here for the Etch-a-Sketch and then there's room up in this top half for the geocache and it has a little fake floor and I'll attach all this exactly down like this um, and it's about ready to be assembled now. Okay, let's talk about the Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, this is a small one. It's about nine by seven and a half. Um, I've made a mark here and a mark here. I'll label this right and left, like the cashier won't know that. But so that I can get a full turn, I will be able to tell when I say a full turn, it'll be a full turn like that all the way around one time. If I decide to go back a half turn, I've marked half up here and I've marked half here. So my measurements will either be in full turns or half turns and on each side I can either go right or left. I'm going to call this cache Mechanical Drawing 101 and the combination to this little lock right here, it's really just a small luggage lock. Uh, this lock will be 101 and I'll also place that in the hint. Okay, here's my finished product. Um, the same instructions are on the cache page. Start at X, please clear, don't take. Clockwise, and I have an error right. Uh, Counterclockwise, left. Uh, I do tell them to start at the X, and I've placed an X uh, right down here. So when the cacher starts moving, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that, when they, when they start moving, 
they will have to run this down to here, turning it around, uh, shaking it so that they can begin to uh, follow the counterclockwise, clockwise, right, left instructions that are on the cash page. I hope you've learned how to build not only this cash, but subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how to build some of these other gadget caches in future videos. Let's together keep raising the geocaching bar one cache at a time. Thanks for watching.